What is going on, everyone? Welcome to another ACK Spotlight Series special. Today, we have another new artist here, as per usual, and we have Lexi Tori. Lexi, how are you today? Hi, I'm great. How are you? Eh, not too bad. Um, so I appreciate you coming on here. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. I've been a fan of yours for a while. I've been following some of your stuff, and you just have, like, such a cool tone, which is, like, cool, and, like, I definitely dig a lot of your stuff. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. So um, before we jump into the questions, why don't you just give like a little bio about yourself real quick, just so kind of people can know who you are. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm 22 years old. I'm originally from St. Louis, Missouri. Um, I write all of my music. I'm a singer songwriter. Um, I actually just released my first single. So kicking off my career just now. Um, and yeah, just moving forward. No, that's awesome. Um, so, I mean, I'm just going to jump right into the questions. That's normally how I am. I'm just, I like to get straight to the point. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to start with like the basic of basics. That's what everyone knows me for. Um, okay. so how did music start for you? Like, where did you, like, where did it all start for you? Like, when did you start singing at like a young age? Did you like pick up the guitar? Like, how did it all start? Yeah. So I've actually been singing ever since I could talk. I remember my family telling me that I, my first song that I sang was God bless America. Mm -hmm. And, um, I had that memorized when I was like three years old and then I just grew up singing all the time. And when I turned 10, I decided to start playing guitar and, um, I took lessons for a while and then I was kind of self-taught after that. And I just grew up playing music and writing my own stuff. And yeah. No, that's awesome. I like, especially like doing it at a young age is just so cool just because like you just have like all that experience too, which is just, it's crazy just because like a lot of people nowadays are just kind of like just starting to get out there at like older ages and stuff because like they just, they've like always done it, but like they've never like really put it out there per se. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's, it's really awesome to grow up doing a hobby and like sticking with it and progressing and seeing how your voice changes because I mean my voice has definitely changed since I was like 10 or 11 so it's really cool to to have that growing up yeah no for sure um so kind of like my next question to get into is did you find inspiration like in music like did it like help you or anything like did like a family member like encourage you to like really start pursuing music and like just kind of like was there any inspiration or was this just like I love doing this. Like, this is who I am. And this is what I want to do. It was more like that. Um, it just kind of came to me naturally, honestly. And I've always been drawn to music. I definitely have artists that have inspired me, but not really necessarily specific family members. They've always been interested in my music, but I don't think they ever really thought that I was going to be taking it as a career path, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. No. So that's cool. Um, yeah, I mean, because like I actually just started writing like the how I got into music was back in 2018. I just started writing and started making music and working with other artists and stuff like that. And it just kind of clicked. And like, I just enjoyed it so much. Like, it's just such a fun thing for me. And it's like a hobby, like you said, like, it's just like, it's grown into more than a hobby for me. It's grown into like a lifestyle and yep. stuff like that. Absolutely. Um, so kind of like, I mean, cause I know you just released your first single not too long ago, correct? Very, yeah, very true. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, and like, I know like you post like a lot of covers and like stuff like that. Like you do a lot of originals and stuff like that. When you start writing a song, what's like your creative process? Like when you start writing, like, how do you form like a good song? Yeah. Um, so all of my music that I've written, um, has been from a personal experience. So that's how I get most of my emotions out is on paper. Um, it's just an easy outlet for me. I have a really hard time like talking about my feelings, but when it comes to my music, it's like I can just write it all out and then it come, becomes a song. Um, so that's that's what inspires me. I'll have something happen and then I'm like, man, I need to write about that. I need to get yeah. my feelings out, so. No, for sure. I mean, cause that's definitely how I write most of my songs as well is just like pure emotion. Mm -hmm. and like for me like I don't know maybe like did like when it started for me I was more of like before 2018 like I was writing poems and like just kind of like stories and stuff like that yeah um, just because like I just need to get like the emotions out and stuff like that just to kind of like vent and like that's like where a lot of my stuff comes from in my music mm -hmm. um 
who are some of your like inspirations like when it comes to the music business like who do you look up to I love Amy Winehouse. Um, her music is really relatable. Um, I also love Billie Eilish. Those are two of like my biggest inspirations. I feel like their music is not only relatable, but you can like feel the emotion. And that's what I, that's what I want people to feel when they listen to my music. I want them to be able to relate to it, but they can also like feel the emotion. Um, so yeah, I would say my biggest inspirations. Awesome. Um, so my next question kind of is with like, obviously the pandemic within the last year and stuff like that. Um, like, have you found it a lot harder to like get out there and play shows and just kind of like put your music out there more or like, have you found it easier? Like, cause like obviously TikTok kind of blows up and stuff like that. And like, I mean, even Instagram, like, that's, like, my favorite source of, like, getting stuff out there, because that's, like, where a lot of my fans are from is Instagram. Yeah. Um, but, like, have you found it hard over the past year to, like, get out there and, like, do shows and, like, just post stuff? Or, like, how has your experience been during COVID? Um, I feel like it started out okay. Like, the beginning of the pandemic was very, it was a very optimistic time. But I feel like that's how the whole world was. They were like, this is gonna be fine. It's not gonna last very long. And then probably halfway through the year, it started to get pretty difficult. I definitely miss performing live because everything in my city shut down. And um, so I haven't played any live shows, but like you said, social media kind of blew up. So I feel like that's where a lot of people are going now and it's even bigger than before. So now a lot of people are looking for that and they, they go immediately to social media. So yeah that is a is a good side of it the live show part that's kind of a, a disappointing part of it so yeah no because like I know like I know a lot of my friends down in Nashville were definitely struggling like when everything was just closed down and just like not even just Nashville just like anywhere in the music scene like I have some friends in Texas and Missouri and like stuff like that uh, were just all oh, everything was closed down just because like the whole world was affected by everything and it just kind of it was hard very very hard yeah, yeah. um so what would you say makes you different compared to other artists? Like what makes you Lexi Tori? What makes me Lexi Tori? Um, like I said before, I really try to put all of my emotion into my music and I want people to feel that. So I don't know, I guess just like the transparency and, and the authenticity within my music makes me makes me different than some artists so yeah and like I've like I said like I've definitely like watched like some of your lives and stuff like that and like I've heard some of your music you definitely have like that storytelling vibe which is like what I always love with musicians and I feel like a lot of the musicians I've interviewed so far definitely have that storytelling vibe like just telling a story from the first chapter like going chapter by chapter until the end of that book and I always repeat myself always saying that in every interview but that's just like what music is it's just telling a story and making the audience engage in it yeah absolutely and I just feel like being able to relate to a piece of music is it's really great because I know a lot of people turn to music when they're feeling happy, when they're feeling sad, when they're feeling angry. Like there's so many different things that music can express. And it's just like a really great, I, mean, I don't know. I love music. That's all. <laughs> yeah, no, no, for sure. Like I've loved music since like day one. Like I, everyone knows I grew up on country music. That's what was always playing in the house and stuff yeah. like that. But then like I grew to like love pop rap. Like I just, everything is just so cool to me and that's why it's always so cool just to get interviews with different artists like having like a rapper on here like my good friend joe mayo and then having like you on here and then having some country artists like as well like it's just it's crazy um, yeah the diversity i can i can that that's great to have a whole bunch of different artists come on oh exactly see. and especially like the music business is just such a hard business because unless you get heard by the right people too it's just it's hard to make those connections in the music business and that's why I also think this is like a really cool idea to do stuff like this as well yeah um so kind of just kind of like wrapping up like with my questions and stuff because I really want to get into your song obviously like that's always what everyone loves is I always <laughs> love hearing the music um 
what are your goals as a musician? Like, where do you want to go with your music? And what is something you want the people to like take away from your music? And what else can we expect from you down the road? Um, so I definitely want to release my EP. I have, I have my songs lined up and working on that. So that is a huge goal of mine. And I'd love to see how my sound can change a little bit because all of my songs right now are acoustic and I would just love to progress and see what I can do because there's so many different routes I can go. So that's really cool and that's really exciting. Um, so that's something to expect very soon as an EP. So Awesome. Like I, I t- I'll tell you when that comes out, I will definitely be blowing that up for you. Like I can't <laughs> wait for that stuff to happen. Yay. I appreciate that. <laughs> um so where can people find you like if people want to re- like look up some of your stuff like obviously I know you just released the new single um I I use Spotify most of the time but I'm assuming Apple Music and stuff yep. like that as well on all the music platforms so I'm on Apple Music Spotify Amazon Music SoundCloud iHeartRadio um Pandora and YouTube and Instagram awesome and then um, what is your, like, can you just give the people like, um, what your handle is on, like, Instagram and stuff like that so they can find you? Sure. My uh, Instagram handle is Lexi.Tori. And then um, my YouTube is, if you type in Lexi Tori, I come up as well. Awesome. Um, so without further ado, why don't we get into your single? Um, why, so before you start um, playing, we're actually going to do a live playing today instead of actually just listening to it. Lexi agreed to that, and I appreciate that a lot um because most of the time we've just been listening to the music but so this is actually going to be cool it's like a first time ever on this spotlight oh, really? series yeah That's awesome yay yeah no and I was like super excited so um before you do it why don't you just give like the people a little quick um like rundown of like what the song's about and stuff like that and take it away sure um so this song is called learn to say goodbye it's my first song my first single um and I had a friend of mine Sergio Bay collaborate with me on this and the song is basically about just letting go and coming to terms with how things turn out because things change and you know but it's okay so yeah that's basically the background of the song just kind of learning to let go and let life take you where it's supposed to awesome yeah no I definitely can't wait to hear this so let's get right into it all right Say goodbye. Gotta learn how to say goodbye. 
Awesome. Great job. That is such a cool song. I really like that a lot. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry about my neighbors. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Don't worry about it. No, I'm always a big for first on this um, Spotlight series. So like, it's super cool to actually have like a live version played today. Yeah. Um, so I know the fans will definitely enjoy that when this comes out. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, again, thank you so much for doing this. Like, I really appreciate you taking the time. Um, it was- No, thank so you so cool. much for having me. I really love this. This is awesome. Yeah, no, and like I said, it's just such a great way for people to connect more in the music industry and just stuff like that. And just for people to get to know other people because with me just being a, cause I don't sing. Cause if I start singing, windows will start cracking and glass will start breaking. <laughs> that's just the way I am but like just me being a writer and like producer and stuff like that is just for me to get to help other artists out there that are like talented like yourself and like all these other artists that I'm doing like just to help spotlight them that's what the yeah. whole spotlight series is about I love that that's so awesome yeah no so um real quick just again um if you don't mind just like telling everyone where we can find you and all that stuff again real quick and that's about it yeah, you can find me on Apple Music, Spotify, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Amazon Music, Pandora, basically all the music platforms, your favorite one, and then YouTube and Instagram as well. Awesome. Again, Lexi, thank you so much for this. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.